Hello, I'm Ian Lee, and this is problem 17 of chapter 8 of the physics textbook. A 500 Newton uniform rectangular sign 4 meters wide and 3 meters high is suspended from a horizontal 6 meter long uniform 100 Newton rod as indicated in this picture. The left end of the rod is supported by a hinge and the right end is supported by a thin cable, making a 30 degree angle with the vertical. A. Find the tension T in the cable. B. Find the horizontal and vertical components of force exerted on the left end of the rod by the hinge. So what I've done is I drew a free body diagram and list all the forces. You'll notice that for tension, the torque is going up, while here the ten torques are negative. So because I marked this positive, T will be a positive number, and that is what we want to figure out. So let's do A first. So the first step of A is to calculate all the torque. Because the sign is stationary, thus, thus all the torques equal zero. So let's just call this point R, and this one point B, this one point S, and this one point T. So what we do is so we do TR plus TV plus T. Yes, plus T, T equals zero. Now because point R is not moving, we can just cross this out because it equals zero. So now what we're left with is TB, TS, and TT. So what we do is just that we take three meters times, well because this is negative, we do minus 100 newtons. And then the next thing we do is just that we take TS. Now TS, point S is 4 meters away from point R. So we do 4M times 500 Newtons. And then we do plus, it's 6M times T and sine 60. Because... Because if a torque is at an angle, we do sine, and now we're left with this equation. So then we do, well, minus 100 times 3 is 300, and this is 2,000. Then we do 6t sine 60, which equals 0. And now all I have to do is just that that equals 6t sine 60 equals 2,300. And if we divide both sides by 6, we get T sine 60, which equals 383.3 repeating. And if we divide both sides by sine 60, we get T is approximately equal to 442.6 Newtons. So, the tension is 442.6 Newtons. And that is the answer for A, and now we do B. So first, what we do is this. We basically do calculate all the forces for x, which basically equals zero. And uh, let's just assume that our x is positive and t equals 60 is negative. So all we do is that we take our x minus t cosine 60, which equals zero. And what we can just do is that we can add both sides by t cosine 60, substitute the equation. And what we're left with is approximately, because it's approximate, 221.3 Newtons. So that is the horizontal component, and now we look at the vertical component. So now we do Fy equals zero. And if we take all the forces for over here, we can just do Ry plus T sine 60 minus 100 minus 500, 0. So then we do Ry plus T sine 60 equals 600. And now what we do is that we t substitute this equation. Well, we've got T sine 60, which equals 333. So you get 383, I'm just going to approximate to 383. 
So now what we do is that we take 600 minus 383, and that can be... And that makes this equation about 217 newtons. It's actually 216.6 opinions, but let's just approximate this. So, the vertical component of the force exerted on the left end of the rod by the hinge is 217 newtons.